little jaunty tune. That's powerful. Hello, friends. Sorry that we're late. Can you hear us all right? Let us know in the chat. I have to turn down this music, but it doesn't appear to make a difference. Restream having some issues. We were kind of flat footed. Hey, look at this. The great Rafiki's here. John's here. Only play wizard. Nice. Learn music is here. Can here. Nice. Thank you so much. Glad that you're here. It's a big day today. Trades of the Expanse. Planetary Surveyor. I keep saying planetary survivor, and that's not right. But let's get rid of this music because the real deal is waiting just behind what I like to call the modesty shield. Uh, of course, this is Thursday, and on Thursday we talk about the adventure, uh, any all games that are powered by the adventure game engine, and uh, that of course is our proprietary system for you know resolving issues within a tabletop role play it's the whole engine it just gets it done and um you know it gets it done hold on one second i'm feeling like he's trapped behind oh there, there we here. go hey ian thank you for your patience while we wrestled no with restream customer service but we made it and uh we also made it for the um we've got this this uh pdf is out yes brand new awesome. well give me the rundown on it well yeah, um, it, you know, it's, it's PDF for the Expanse, which is the age game that doesn't have age in the title. That's um, right. <laughs> but, but it is an age game. So it does belong on third stage. Um, but yeah, uh, Planetary Surveyor, Surveyor which... Uh, I'm sorry know, I did it to you, didn't I? <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> um, my fault, a, my fault. It's okay, I've been calling it Planetary Explorer every time I talk about it. So. <laughs> All right. Um, that's what they do. They explore. But, that's right. That's right. Uh, yeah, uh, it's it's a, a new entry in Trades of the Expanse, which we've, we've been meaning to get up and rolling for a while. But, you know, pandemic and things and stuff. But we're finally up and moving. Um, you know, we have Bounty Hunter out already. Uh, this is the second entry, uh, Planetary Explorer, which I will you know, go into details. And, and next up, we have Scout coming out very soon. Um, and we already have a couple more in the works. So th these should be rolling out fairly regularly from this point on. Hopefully. Well, now I, I, you know, we're gonna, I'm going to put up a, a magic QR code. And um, it's magic because all you have to do, let's move it over here. And all you have to do is use, you take your phone and uh, uh, scan that QR code. It will take you as if by magic. To the Green Ronin online store, and for five ninety five, you can pick up Trades of the Expanse. Now, I'm imagining that we have several people in the audience who's already who have already done that, and they probably have combed through and and have some questions and some thoughts. If there are, uh, if you do have those questions, so drop them in chat, and uh, we will be happy to. Um, you know what? I've foregone. I have foregone the. Um, we got all kinds of good people here. Look at that. We got Nate's Nate's kicking around in there. Um, who else do we rain's here great we've got um who else hey morgan's here nice are these sounds coming from eros morgan says i like that of course <laughs> i said hi to learn music earlier and uh, oh and skyhammer press as well uh, good to see all of you and all of these folks you know in in some capacity are some of these folks are our uh, premier streamers I recognize many of these names. Absolutely. Storycast Rob is here too. Welcome. Evening to you, my friend. Um, so yeah, so scan that QR code and then head on over to um, the Green Running Down. It'll take you over there. You don't have to do anything else, but just wait. And then uh, and then you just got to put all your coins in the coin slot and out comes Trades of the Expanse. And you can read along as I read the entire book. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> now, I did. I uh, went to all of the trouble of loading up the PDF and then and then technical issues struck. Um, let me uh, let me work on that while you do you, you want to kind of just kind of go page sure. by page or you know well, I'll do uh, a, well section by section probably sure better. sure and yeah, I, yeah. I saw someone mention privateer uh, uh, it not yet but well you can always play a privateer but but we we do have a, a pirates privateer book coming for trades that's that's in the uh, in the list um <clears throat> but anyway trades of the expanse planetary survivor i mean surveyor <laughs> um <laughs> 
it's it, you know basically uh, with the opening of the thirteen hundred worlds. Uh, you, I mean, you know, for a long time, of course, you know, space exploration was limited to the solar system, uh, and but it, by the time of the expanse, uh, you know, setting, uh, the the the, the solar system has been pretty well explored. Uh, people have gone to every planet that they can, you know, reasonably go to, um, and you know everything else has been, you know, you know, most of the other planets and such have been mapped, and and uh, even the moons and such have been, you know, pretty well checked out. Now, of course, you know, there's a lot of asteroids, and you've got asteroids that haven't been, you know, been fully examined yet, but you know, nothing like planets. But now you have planets. You have th 1,300 systems full of planets. Um, <clears throat> And of course, there's sort of the gold rush of everyone wanting to get out there and, uh, and you know find out what resources are available. Uh, you know what what can they bring back? Uh, how can they make a bunch of money? Um, or just how can they you know make a colony and survive? Um, get away from wherever they are now. Um, so yeah, uh, this is about the people who are the first ones to go down physically onto a, you know, onto a world and check it out. Uh, actually, you know, go down and take samples, um, figure out what kind of flora and fauna are there, what kind of dangers they're going to run into. Uh, you, know, you know, is this a viable place for a colony? All that kind of good stuff. Um, yeah, so they, they're your, your, your modern, well, your future day explorers. Um, so you've got this sort of whole new occupation. Uh, I love it. And what an yeah. awesome uh, role-playing opportunity. Just oh, yeah. so, I mean, so perfect. cool. Like, yeah. Perfect for a campaign. I mean, yeah, you're, you're part of a group. And that's why Scout is the, is the next one, um, because they sort of go hand in hand. Scout yeah, yeah. Is, uh, Scout will be more about the, you know, people who go in you – know, on a ship and you know do, do initial scans and that sort of thing but right. don't necessarily land but you could have scouts and, and planetary surveyors working together too so you know that they, they can kind of you know do the same that's thing. great that's great well so now what does the um planetary surveyor bring to a, a party or to a an adventure what kind of is are we are well, we introducing some new skills or some new yeah, you're skipping all the way to the end there. Um, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, uh, it, it, we 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 do have uh, new stuff for um, people who play planetary surveyors. Uh, I'm just trying to find what I'm looking for here because I can never find anything once it's laid out. But anyway, yes, we'll get to that in a minute. But okay, yes, sounds good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a bunch of when you're ready. Yeah. New rules. Ooh, cool. Okay. Um, yeah, let's start at the beginning. <laughs> um, so the book opens with, well, just sort of a, a description of what planetary surveyors are, what they do, you know, how they operate, that kind of thing. Um, and then it gets it, we, we jump right into, uh, you know, mission types uh, as we do with, with these books is, you know, what types of missions, if you had a team of planetary surveyors, I mean, the thing is that a team is going to involve people with different skills, right? Cause you're going to need yeah. an engineer to keep things running. You're going to need someone to pilot the ship. You, you're, you're still going to need an entire you know group of people uh, if, if this was actually your job or, I mean, planetary surveyor could be your background as well. You know, it doesn't necessarily mean that, that uh, that's what you're doing now. But this does give an opportunity for a new way to play the expanse, sort of. Um, it's sort of a Star Trek y kind of <laughs> nice, yeah, way, yeah, because you're going out and exploring strange new worlds, literally, right? Right, right, right. Um, so there's some you know charts and tables for if, you, if you're looking for missions, uh, you know, what kind of missions you, you, you might get hired for, who might hire you, um, what exactly they want you to examine. Uh, how big of an area they want you to to uh, you know to explore, uh, you know, and give details on. You know, are, are you there to gather scientific information, survey flora fauna, or you know, uh, map an area, uh, determine usability as a colony or other uh, or other installation, uh, look for valuable resources, yeah, um, or something specific, or are you you know looking for builder tech? Um, is always another option. Um, we get into then you know who, who's going to hire these people right who who hires uh you know planetary surveyors which you know generally you've got you know big governments and corporations um 
uh, you got governments and big, <coughs> sorry, governments and big corporations, scientific yeah. institutions, uh, colonization companies. Um, and then, of course, you get, you know, religious and special interest groups, you know. Fascinating. Um, but, that, that gets, that's yeah. a real fun story hook. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, the Mormons are probably still looking to, you know, find yeah. their new planets. So. Hey, real quick, you know, I just want to say a shout out to Duke. Hey, good to see you. Um, you're right on time, my friend. Glad you made it. Yep. Because we were late. So. No, we were late. <laughs> so you're right on time. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, so very interesting. And, and uh, is there, can you talk a bit about how the scientific institutions and the, you know, colonization companies and religious and special interest groups are, you know, how, how can people kind of utilize that in, in sort of the, the storytelling and, and sort of uh, GMing and also just playing? I mean, what are, what are some of the things that opens up? Sure. I mean, Who's hiring you? Who you're working for? If you're you're doing this kind of work, uh, is going to make a big difference in your approach, um, and and you know they might have special requirements. Uh, if you're hired by a government or a military organization, they're probably going to want a lot of secrecy, and there might be competition, and that could that can be true from all of these, right? There might yeah. be uh, you know, rival groups uh, who are there to uh, do the same thing or looking for the same uh, resource or whatnot. So, you know, you, you can run into a lot of conflict there. Um, plus, you know, just generally pirates, uh, you know, taking advantage of the fact that there are lone ships, uh, you know, now out there running around, uh, with, you know, they aren't going to have much in the way of defense uh, if, if, uh, if someone attacks them. Um, and, uh, you know, you probably get one of these new worlds. You're probably going to have some secret pirate bases and that sort of thing, too. Oh, nice. Yeah. 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 They, all kinds of things. You know, you might run into people who beat you there to it. You could have an eyeless uh, new terror situation where you go down to survey a planet and find out there's already, you know, there's already yeah. some people living there. Yeah. Um, so you know, yeah, all right. All kinds right. of conflicts that you can run into there. So yeah, I mean, it's it's really going to who's hiring you is really going to depend on your approach and and how you're going about this. And do you even want to give this information up then, depending on what it is, what you find out? Um, you know, I could see situations where you come into conflict with the organization that hired you. Um, right. Uh, depending on on what you discover. Right, you um, discover some nefarious, you know, sort of underpinnings, or they lied about who existed already in this space. Yeah, yeah, or something, or something really, you know, dangerous, or mm -hmm. you know, uh, a, a new technology that that could, you know, destabilize the solar system. Kind and of. your molecules, yeah, right, right. And your molecules. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, we we have, uh, we, we, you know, we actually have a little system in here, just kind of like we did in Bounty Hunter, where. Uh, there's some rules for actually finding missions, what missions are available, uh, making tests to actually, you know, you know, you know, look for whatever mission you're looking for. Um, we have uh, uh, new stunts that are, you know, basically survival stunts, um, things that would, you know, come up while, you know, while exploring a planet. Um, Let's see here. Let me look at some of the new stunts. You've got uh, Frontier Medicine. Uh, use your, your natural or makeshift remedies to, uh, or a first aid kit to restore uh, fortune for every two uh, stunt points spent. Um, a lot of healing. Uh, a lot of uh, and, and some uh, uh, getting, just, you know, getting bonuses to navigation, that sort of thing. But yeah, basically things you're going to come across while Explore, you know, that would be useful while while exploring. Yeah, that's great. These exploration stunts are just so it's so evocative. I you know, and there's nothing I love more than a stunt table. This is really great. Yeah, I mean, I, I, having new stunt tables, I think, just you know, especially for specific locations, is a lot of fun. Or or yeah. types of locations. Even. That's right. Yeah. Um, we're doing a lot of that with uh, Fantasy Age as well. Uh, but we're even like, well, <laughs> jumping age games. Um, <laughs> uh, John says, yes, the new exploration stunts were really intriguing. Once again, something I would definitely use. Yeah. Or had to use. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, this, I'm, I might be skipping ahead, but I can't help myself. This art on the uh, survive uh, planetary surveying challenges. The that capture fauna pieces in the whole book. Yes, that's <laughs> so good. I dig it, and that thing is creepy. <laughs> that, 
And yes, the creature was you. the creature she's messing with. Was, I, 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 I kind of left it open to the artist, but I was like, uh, a scorpion crossed with a spider or with a with a squid, you know, or something like that. It was, and yeah, sure it's enough. really well done. That's exactly <laughs> what you get. You know, John says uh, the new stunts are very Oregon Trail. That's it. That's it. It really does remind yes. me quite a bit uh, of that of that vibe and that feeling. I just couldn't quite put my finger on it. Thank you, sir. Um, sure. Yeah, that's great. Um, so yeah, you're you're into challenges there, which uh, I am. That, yeah, sorry. It, it, yeah, no, that's fine. That that that's good. Uh, and that. Uh, basically, we give some sample challenge tests and such. That, you know, types of challenges that uh, players are likely to, you know, characters are likely to encounter. Like, you know, capture fauna. You're, you're capturing a creature yeah. of some kind. Um, and so, yeah, we give some, you know, it, and these are examples at least to sort of give you, you know, obviously, if it's a more dangerous creature, the difficulty could be higher. Um, the, the success threshold might be higher if it's difficult to find. But this gives you sort of a baseline to, to work with. And probably even more importantly, some of the consequences give you, you know, good ideas, give some ideas for yeah. the types of consequences you might. I like that it uh, gives you context. I mean, yeah. just the, the whole uh, minor, moderate, major, you know, that's just such a great scale to, to sort of, mm -hmm. you know, make sure that you're giving folks the challenge they are ready for. Um, and uh, question, John has a question. Uh, let's see. It's uh, uh, Ian, uh, do you, does this book include the science stick? No, it does not have the science stick. If, 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 if I would have the science stick in here if the book wasn't already written and in production by the time the concept of the science stick came up. We might not be uh, familiar. But, but, yeah. What, what uh, is the, the science there, stick? The, <laughs> it was a streaming game that I was on of, of John's. And, That's uh, right. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, Basically, I just kept wanting to poke things and find out, you know, what they <laughs> what they are made of or what have you. And so we ended up calling it the science stick. I know, love it. That's great. Jabbing All right. Things. We'll we'll look to the future for the uh, for the uh, okay. reveal of the science stick. Um, you, know, but, you know, if there's ever, you know, but possibly we'll slip it in in the future. I don't know. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Keep your eyes open. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Watch out for um, the PDF update. That's right. <laughs> Keep your eyes open for the science stick. Um, okay, so I'm just rolling through some of these other challenges, but they are very, yeah, they're 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 they have a really great thematic feel to them. They're mm -hmm. super fun. Um, what comes well, we after? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, basically, all the all the basic things that you would want, you know, capturing fauna, uh, choosing a landing site, uh, determining usability for a you know for to be a colony or what have you, gathering scientific information, clandestine survey, like you're trying to do it without you know people notice you know other nearby people noticing. Yeah, um, all those. Cool. Very cool. Um, <laughs> Sky versus don't lick the science. Don't lick the science. <laughs> I love that. Um, yeah, yeah. Don't lick the science on ring worlds, right? Poke it with your science stick, yeah. but yeah, don't taste it. Um, yeah. Awesome. Okay, um, so I have. Uh, I'm. I'm at uh, getting paid and income rewards. Sure. Um, that's pretty straightforward. Just like it, it, some ideas on. Uh, on how much you know what what people would get paid for doing these. Things. Sure. Uh, sure. What characters would get paid. It's just you know sort of sort of. You know, just guidelines for that. Oh, yeah, that um, makes sense. And you know, a lot of this stuff is. It, I I see a lot of these things as things. You know, if, if you know, obviously, game masters who have tons of time uh, could probably come up with on their own, right? I mean, that's yeah. true of anything, all, any kind of expansion for a role playing game, really, almost. But the, these are are so that you can like, oh, I want to do a. You know, we're going to explore a planet this week. Okay, boom, boom, boom. I just have stuff right here that I can use. Um, that's right. Yeah, to, to yeah. make it happen. Uh, but then the fu fun stuff I, I enjoy in each of these is you know, tools of the trade, uh, which is you know, new gear. Um, yes, new specified gear specified to to that that trade. Um, and you know, a lot of it's just very straightforward. We have the we we don't have the science stick, but we do have the chemistry deck. Yeah, that's sad. Uh, that's significant from, from sure. Nemesis Games, which was yeah, that was a thing straight from the books. Um, oh, I guess. The sampling kit could, you know, also be called a science stick. No. Um, <laughs> there's a surveying terminal, survival kit, 
uh, several kinds of drones. Yeah, the drones that I, I found that particularly exciting when I saw, you know, um, I was going <laughs> to ask more about that. But I, I mean, maybe it's just because I'm a huge nerd and I just the idea of drones are cool to me. But, um, mm -hmm. uh, you know, that that seems like it adds a, a layer of, of sort of height and depth and, you know, mm -hmm. safety for the user and that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and, and of course, there's lots of ways you can get around that as a game master if, if you find <clears> players <throat> using drones too often. Like, you know, there could be, you know, animals that eat them, you know. Or yeah, <laughs> like that's it's, right. It's territorial that's right. or whatever. Every time, a, every time um, they go to flight, a big a bird of prey, you know, uh, quote unquote, comes flying out. and Flying out, uh, yep. Uh, yeah. you, you could, uh, there could be electromagnetic magnetic interferences or what have you. So, oh, you know, so you know, I'm also, I'm also noticing that there are several different kinds of drones here. Uh, yes. Reconnaissance, sampling, snare. Yeah. That's um, for capturing creatures. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Smaller ones, but still. Yeah. Uh, or, 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 or you could, yeah. Oh, and submersible. A, yeah. Submersible drones. Yeah. Dude, that is so cool. That is so cool. Aircraft, aquatic vehicles, ground yeah. vehicles, yeah. Those are all somewhat covered in core book. But then we get into ships. And uh, this is my, uh, my, uh. My, my new favorite ship, which is the Narwhal-type submersible skiff, which is a ship that is specifically designed to be able to go underwater on the world that it goes to. Cool. So if you have a, a planet that's significantly water or just, you know, you just want to explore underwater for whatever reason, um, yeah, there you go. You have ships that are, are designed just for that. And we added uh, submersible as a ship quality as well. So, you know, you could just tack that onto your whatever ship. Awesome. Um, <laughs> That's so yeah. cool. That's great. That's really, really cool. This has been, uh, again, uh, trades has been a great way to to just introduce new ships because we're, we're each one is going to have two to three new ship types. Um, and we get a little bit weird with some of them later on, but. <laughs> <laughs> well our community does like it weird i'll tell you that much yeah, um yeah. awesome well that's very very cool that is uh so adding a little texture and some uh a expandability to what what ships mean in the context of the um the expanse rpg yeah that's cool mm -hmm. yeah just and, and yeah yeah more more diversity um i mean the thing is, are the 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 rules for ships are fairly streamlined, and and so like often one ship doesn't look that different from another when you just look at the stat blocks. So you know, I think the descriptions for them and, and their functionality, uh, you know, adds character. And you know, I, I can, you know just imagine the submersible ship is going to appear a little differently even on the interior than a. Uh, oh yeah, ship. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And fun to explore some of the nautical aspects of that as well. I mean, that's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's super. I mean, cool. you could have a whole nautical based adventure at that point. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Um, you were asking about rules and characters. Uh, there is a new specialization as each we do with each of these. There's the planetary surveyor specialization. Cool. Um, that, you know, so if your character, if that's what your character's background is and that's, that's what, you know what you did for a living or do for a living you know then there you go uh you actually have a specialization you can take uh right there very cool so and we're gonna awesome. have yeah reach for them, so. yeah i was just uh, you know of course i i tried to read as much of this as i could but um i'm i'm enthralled by the planetary survivor specialization uh surveyor surveyor planetary surveyor okay suburber. sorry i was wrong. suburber suburban <laughs> surveyor <laughs> <laughs> Suburb suburban survival um okay yep. so um that's great and then i'm looking at some reputation uh yep just you know new reputations uh you know for planetary surveyors mm -hmm. uh you know just, just sort of focusing on that um you know for for those of you that that like to to get your reputation tags yeah, gotcha. Absolutely. And yeah, it kind of informs the kind of people you'll be working with and the kind of things you might find yourself tangled up in. And yeah. Yeah. And well, and who you are and what you've done. Yeah. More, more, more importantly, I think uh, yeah, that if you're known for you know being a zookeeper or a frequent lander, I like that one. I do too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Xeno survivalist. Yep. That is cool. Yeah. And, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So a zookeeper, that was interesting. That was, I, that wasn't one I expected to see, but I imagine, yeah, if you're, maybe you're trapping or you're kind of going yeah, out and exactly. Yeah. You're gonna, yeah. I mean, 
alien life forms are going to be of interest to people all over, you know, and even I, I can only it's never discussed in the novels. But I, as far as I know, as I recall, but I, I can only imagine that things would be captured and taken back to Earth and, you know. At, yeah. You know, use there and that sort of yeah, thing. yeah, exactly, exactly. Oh, hey, you know, um, uh, Rain says, I love the expressiveness of the art, and it is really expressive. It's great. It's yes. so fun. It is just, yeah, it just really, it's it's evocative of the whole experience. I dig it. What? Well, the, yeah, this per, this artist in particular just really captured facial expressions. I, yes. So well. like, like, yes. Like the one you have up there now, too. And, well, no, you did have it up, but. Um, it's back. It's a, yeah, that, that one, and and of course the woman who's looking at the examining the little critter. Um, oh, that's yeah, really that was so that. great. Yeah, yeah, just 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 like yeah. This, yeah is, this, this one you can hear the story being told almost. That's right. right. <laughs> yeah, and I want that cocktail. I really do. It looks good. I want it right now. Um, I have one cool. Of those right after this. Yes, exactly. Uh, cool. Okay. Awesome. Um, Let's see. Where should I head next? I, of course, there's some it's stuff in churn. here about the churn. Yep. Again, uh, kind of like with stunts, and it's kind of thing we're doing with each of the uh, trades books is, uh, you know, putting in churn complications that are, you know, appropriate to when you know if, if the group is surveying a planet, or I mean, or even just you know if if it's a, a planet side uh, story. Um, yeah. You know, th these could could very well. Uh, fit in with that and it's so because obviously churn effects you know aren't limited specifically um you, know, you could use them at any time anywhere but yeah just right. gives you some ideas you know storms coming in or you know uh you know just someone suffers an injury which makes sense you know in this case uh you know vehicles such as drones and whatnot are down or you know all kinds of stuff like that yeah yeah i love it yeah, you know, one of the, my favorite things is to look at people's sort of complications um, that they have created for the churn. You know what I mean? It's yep. just uh, it's super fun. Just some very very clever. Yeah, I've seen um, some stuff out there that's really neat. Yeah, super neat. Okay, now we're at the jobs board. Yeah, we're, we're getting close to the end here. It's not a big. I book. know. Uh, it, it's uh, the jobs board is it just it, this is straight up the uh, we basically give some NPCs that can be used by by GMs to uh, you know they can. They can they could hire, you know, it could be, be, uh, you know, people who hire the player characters or, you know, or play some, yeah, yeah, yeah. Their, their patron or whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Very cool. And the universe uh, a little bit. Well, this is super exciting. Um, it is, uh, how many pages was that? That was 16, 15, 16, about 16 well, pages, yeah. just chock full of good stuff. Um, yeah. Uh, what are you as you were putting this together? Did you have some thoughts about sort of what you would hope to see players do, or or what you would hope to to maybe inspire in in folks when they're uh, when they're tooling about? When, with with these two, with this and Scout both, um, I mean, my, my thought very much was is sort of again one of the things I I'm enjoying doing as a developer is sort of bringing new ways of playing the expanse to people rather than just, you know, replicating the novels, um, you know, with, with your game, but yeah. It, and, and trades really allows me to drill down on that a little bit. It's like, here's a different way. Yeah. You know, here's a, here's a specific thing you could do with this game. And, and it could spread out from there. Like maybe you start out in the first few sessions, they're planetary explorers and they get tangled up in some political thing or, or protocol yeah. kind of thing. But, but it gives you a, you know, a, a focus um and uh with this i mean very much as i mentioned earlier i mean i don't want to you know cross the streams here but <laughs> it, you could very much do sort of a star trek you know in the expanse where you know you, you're part of a ship going around exploring strange new worlds and going down taking samples and and collecting life forms and you know, whatever. You know, Ian, um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say, you know, we are we're awfully proud of the information and the mechanisms and they are meant to be modular or moved around. And so <laughs> if if that works uh for your campaign, no matter what you're playing, you definitely look to uh, the, right. all the age books and for you know as as a kit for you to use and to deploy uh in all your games. Yeah. Even this, I mean I don't expect everybody would use everything in it, but you know, you might use the turn stuff and you might use the stunts and, and the specialization 
but not some other. Th- I don't know. You know, it, it, it's yeah. up to what to decide what they want to use. But- the great Rafiki says having trades for your crew and other crews just help the universe feel more alive and fleshed out. One hundred percent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, yeah, th- this was, uh, to, again, to me, a nice way of just sort of doing a little deeper dive on different aspects of the universe you know, <laughs> right. and, and, and what people do. Because I think when people initially think the expanse, they, you know, they're just thinking the novels, of, you know, and, and such. And that is a very specific type of story. But this world is so this universe is so rich and has so many opportunities of different kinds of stories to be told um, right and so, Mary's yeah, cracking me up he says an, a, another space age hint that was not what that was <laughs> <laughs> that was not it no <laughs> awesome um yeah, well, so that's that's uh, phenomenal. Um, again, so if you use the QR code, and you can use that at any point in time, if you're watching this and it is, you know, the year 2024, and you're watching this because you've fallen in love with our channel and you are subscribed, you've liked all the videos and you've shared them, you've left a comment that says, hey, boy, this shirt is great, or hey, neat, um, whatever the comment is, so, you know, so long as it's positive, we will give it a, a little heart if we're on YouTube, we'll give it a like. If we're over on Facebook, we're also on Twitch. Um, we're, out, we're also broadcasting into Twitter, but I don't know why we're doing that. Uh, you know where else we are? Uh, we're on Kick. Kick. K I C K. It's a new streaming service that's popped or streaming, you know, kind of hmm. platform. And uh, it's a little different, but you know, hey, we, uh, we're broadcasting to all folks. No matter how different they are, so uh, so check that out if you're over there. Make sure you're liking and subscribing, and um, that QR code will work forever. It'll work right now. So if you're waiting, if you're waiting for the sign, that QR code is it. Give it a snap and then uh, pick up the pick up the PDF, and that link will work in perpetuity. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Right nice. There. Right there. Thank right you. Right Thank well, you, Vanna. So <laughs> can I ask a question of the uh, of the yes, audience? Please do. Yes, absolutely. What trades would you like to see? Uh, Ooh, I have yeah. my list. I, I have my list that's you know semi solid, but but there's there's room. So I would love to hear from people what you know what trades you know what they where what area they'd like to see you know drilled down in. Yeah, yeah, that is a really great question. Yeah, uh, the Rafik says that is a good question. That is really good. I mean, because there's so much. That when you start to think about it in the context of space flight and and all of those things, um, and so far we've gotten we've got uh, what are the we've gotten two trades out now, uh, two. We'll have a third one very soon. We nice. have, and I will we'll just say we have two more already written. Uh, so yeah, and, so and, and then that. we have two more coming in, and very soon writing wise. So we should be able to keep these rolling a lot faster than, than we had. At this point. Nice. That's great. That's great. We'll get into, we, yeah. We'll get into that nice cadence. Uh, let's see. John says merchants. Um, Rain says uh, influencers. Merchants. And uh, we have merchant Jose. smuggler and, uh, and pirate both coming. How about union representative? Ooh, that's such a solid idea, Jose. That's so good. That's so good. That would actually probably fit in with one of my. We have an arbiter idea. It's this vaporware at this point, but but basically yeah. a negotiator. Um, yeah, yeah. Because that negotiator could be. I mean, honestly, kind of. You can even pop um, influencer into that, or union representative, or you know, yep. like just somebody with some. Yeah, hacker. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Union represent representative would be. A yeah. So yeah, that would fit with that. Um, yes, let's see. Um, oh, Arbiter is cool or politicians. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And I do see a distinct difference between someone who's an arbiter and then someone who's a politician. Cause yep. sometimes they're not, they're not the ones making the deal. They're the just kind of, you know, their minions are doing it, but uh, that's very cool. Um, yeah. Jonesy said, uh, hacker. Hacker. Yep. Yeah. This is great. Uh, Older. John says when Patty Kim played with us. She played the character's union representative. Yeah, that's so great. It's such a it's such a good idea. Con artist, sure. What would you do? How would you? Yeah, and look, Ian's got the pen out. I've got a pen. I'm We're doing it. Notes. We're doing it. Notes, because you all giving me some ideas here. 
Yeah, Marines. Yeah, yeah, soldiers. I do Love like it. the, you know, that con artist could be kind of, yeah, Jonesy says info broker. Mm -hmm. That might be kind of the same sort of gig, you know, like what you're selling and what you're doing otherwise is kind of all in the gray market area. Right. Interesting. Uh, maybe ship designers. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Maybe ship designers in the Earth Belt and Mars flavor, respectively. Mm -hmm. That. Well, how curious. That's a very interesting. And yeah, I could just imagine all of the trouble you can get into as a as a sort of ship designer. Huh. So many good ideas here. <laughs> yeah, super good ones. Um, Thank you. All. Well, yeah, really, really good stuff. Um, so. Um, yeah, some, uh, yeah uh, John mentions uh, some uh, some more detailed engineering-based kind of roles and mm -hmm. things. I like that. Um, so when you're looking to the future and, and introducing some of these um, uh, some of these trades, because with each of these comes a little bit of gear and a little bit of tech and some other good stuff. Um, any any um, previews of the future for what we can imagine there being as far as, you know, gear or tech or things that might, uh, that folks might be excited about? Um, let me think here. Um, try, try think. Well, I mean, some of it I don't know yet because they aren't fully written. Uh, gotcha. or, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, I just but, know that every developer designer has their, their wish list of things that they'd like to see right. kind of realized and understanding that this is some, something that is happening in the future potentially so folks can kind of take this with a grain of salt but so stuff that is going to start coming in more and okay. more in trades and elsewhere are uh are augments uh mm -hmm. which is something i've wanted to see in the expanse for a long time okay um, because you know they're, they're in the novels uh but they were never mentioned in the core rule book at all so you yeah know, your, your cyberware bioware kind of stuff uh, you know, I definitely like to see that brought in because again, I think it just it just opens up a lot of different opportunities for playing. Full disclosure, um, Ian, that was the thing I was hoping you were going to talk about a little bit yeah. about because people are super stoked and excited about it, and they want you know the, that's that is something that it's kind of a mystery, so it's fun to be able to fill in some of the blanks there. Yeah, so so we will have that uh, soon. Uh, I, I, you you will see augments by the fall. I <laughs> nice okay uh just around the corner it'll be here uh, sooner than uh than you think um yeah. uh, robots are we are there gonna be any kind of uh you know we have not i mean we cover drones we haven't really covered robots a lot and that's that's an interesting idea i hadn't really it, more really, autonomous robots yeah, with them yeah yeah that's they are so not mentioned in the novels at all they're like, really not yeah no yeah um that i I don't know. I'm not sure if there's a place for them or not, but the, now, I mean, do, really yeah, it, it is curious, isn't it? It does. It, it, you think of the world. It just does not. There's just not a lot of that AI, mm -hmm. any of that kind of stuff. Right. Yeah. I mean, is there, um, it is, but it's in the background, you know, that's it's, right. it's, it's yeah. just part of, I mean, AI is, I mean, it's probably going on in the computer system, but, but it's not like, yeah, it's not something that's driving a, yeah, right. a narrative. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, right. do brings up something very interesting that I've always kind of, wondered about it but when you think about trades alien tech reverse engineer like there's got to be a lot of roles that are are you know are growing as as more discoveries are made about you know others probably gonna wait until we get into uh some of the later book like actual yeah. books uh before we start introducing that like through trades and whatnot yeah, yeah it makes um, sense yeah because i, I kind of you know i want I want the the actual books to be caught up to there before we get into to alien tech, um, and well, or hybrid tech. Oh, John mentions um, I could see augments as part of a trades medicine. Hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, no, and I agree with you, John. It just uh, it's just not often the the narrative or does it play a a, a role that drives the story you know what i mean like it's not like uh, oh our ai has gone crazy and it's trying to kill all humans or you know it's uh just kind of there um yeah, and ubiquit ubiquit ubiquitous is the word i was looking for earlier it's just it, it's, sure. it's just so much part of the background it's just there instead right of right actually you know being something that's talked about day to day 
Absolutely. Um, well, cool. Yeah. So the just the idea of augments is so e- exciting, and there's a lot of fun stuff there. And then, of course, we're looking. You know, um, again, uh, that'll that'll be at some point in the future. Um, uh, other aspects of um, of what's coming down the pike that you want to, you know, sort of hint at but not tell. Um, well, of course, it, I think we can mention at this point the soul system is coming soon, um, and that that will that's where augments are going to be. So you'll see. Yeah, there you the go. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I guess we can, I mean, the, 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 I, I kind of mentioned it briefly, but, but the next two <laughs> trades are our merchant smuggler uh, and, uh, and pirate uh, are going to be the next two. So which are kind of companion books, kind of like planetary surveyor and, and scout world. I'm sure. sort of doing them that way for a little while that, or, you know, two will come out that sort of uh, support each other a little bit. I dig that. Uh, Storycast, Rob, it's so funny when you, it happens to me too, uh, ubiquitous isn't the word for me at this point, but that when you just hear the word and then suddenly it's coming from all weird places, like it's not like unrelated, yes. you know, you're watching a show, they mention it, there's something on a podcast and you're talking to a friend and your mom calls and says ubiquitous. Um, yeah, all of that is uh, quite uh, interesting and weird. I don't know what that is, but uh it is. It can be off-putting. Um, I so see someone's excited about pirate. And I'm not sure why. I, I, I don't know why. It. Yeah, can't put my finger <laughs> on it. Why our friend Merrick would be into that? A whole I, idea. I, I don't know. <laughs> he may have written it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we're looking forward to it as well. Um, did I just oh, say those were the next ones? I just did, didn't I? I jumped did. ahead of myself. Oh you my did. god! I can't believe it. I failed I awfully. No, actually, the next because I I get so far ahead of myself. Um, yeah. Uh, the next two are actually a uh, 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 journalist and um, an entertainer, uh, which sort of covers the idea of it, it has influencers in there as well. That it does, it does. Yeah. So it's but it's scout influencer. Yeah, scouts next. Scouts next. Yeah, and yeah. then those two. And forget anything I said about Merchant and Pirate. I didn't say that because that's way too far out to even be talking about. Oh, okay, gotcha. Well, so we we might be crossing the streams and all of that. So uh, everything that we've said now is a dream. Wake up. But you didn't hear that. You're going to miss Thursday. Wake up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, cool. Okay, so all of those things considered. Um, and, you know, here's the deal. At the end of the day. We like to share a little bit of what goes on behind the scenes and in the order that we're talking about these things may they may be released in a different order or they may we may have to hold one back for whatever reason so you know don't count your trades before they've clocked in is right. what i like to say yes, exactly. um yeah and so uh and that that being said we like to be a little we like to share a little insight and a little sort of uh prognosticating for folks so you can kind of get a sense of what's coming but don't bank on it okay um right. hopefully that's is clear enough for everybody to be excited, but not so excited that you're like, you know, uh, you know, betting, betting the farm on, uh, on order and, uh, it's all chaos. Um, okay. So, uh, talk to me, friend. <laughs> um, no, are you going to be at Gen Con? Um, I should be. No, do I keep hearing a triple or something or what? I keep hearing like a, <laughs> it's oh. like a... yeah. I, don't I like it. it. It's a great noise. I just don't know where it's coming from. Um, I thought it was me, honestly. I just realized what it is. Okay. No, sorry. That'll go away now. <laughs> I love it. Um, so I'm sorry. I, I asked if you were going to Gen Con and then promptly uh, ignored your answer. Yes, I, I should be there. Yes. Nice. Awesome. Well, I will be there as well. We'll have a lot of fun. And so, um, friends, if you're going to hang out, uh, maybe, you're, maybe you're running a game of The Expanse. Uh, maybe you want to... Uh, meet up for a drink or sit down and, and have a talk and just sort of, uh, and sort of connect. Um, I'll send me around. a note. Yeah. Send me a note. Of, let's play at green Ronin. And, uh, we have, it would be really fun to hang out with everybody and, and, uh, and just say, Hey, I would dig that. Um, Ian, what else do you have going on in your world? What's happening in just Ian Lemke's world of worlds. Also working on fantasy age. Also working yes, on, you are. On, yeah, uh, so that that's coming along. Uh, you know, new supplements for Fantasy Age, which you know we can probably do another Thursday, John. And I'll I'll talk about stuff that's way too far out. And <laughs> 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 so hoping not that no one sees this. <laughs> um, 
No, only we're going to kill me. Our numbers are real good. Um, just saying. And they'll be even better when they find out a scandal is breaking on this very <laughs> program. Um, but no, I'm more so, I mean, for your personal stuff. Like, you've got a project you're working on outside oh, yeah. of the... Yeah, yeah. Talk to me about yeah, it. I have, well, I mean, I have Nevermore. Uh, it's a role-playing game of American Gothic horror, which is my, my own personal project, uh, which did Kickstarter last year. Um, we're moving into the final stretches. I'm doing some final play tests. Uh already got a, a few chapters edited um and hopefully moving into layout sometime in, in the very soon i'm not I don't know. you're like, <laughs> I'm, I know, you're like I'm done giving any information about the future <laughs> yeah it, well it, it's been crazy that, yeah. because uh well you know I, I i was just developing the expanse and then i was developing the expanse and and fantasy age and so that that ended up being a whole lot more uh things to do on my plate so kind of slow. Yeah, down. absolutely. It got, it got a little nutty there, didn't it? Um, and I'm going to share, you are uh, the Ian Lemke on the tweets. And uh, now yeah. if that ends Probably up- Probably going away up, there soon. I, I, I was think. just going to say, if that should end up uh, drying up, where, where can folks get a better sense of you and your social media sort of uh, engagements? question. Uh, I mean, I'm on Facebook. Um, I have an Ian Lemke author. Uh page on nice. facebook my, my company is on on facebook and twitter which is nepenthe games cool um so here's what we'll do friends we'll, we'll provide links and stuff to that uh, to ian's um stuff you can just kind of follow him and get a uh, sense of what's cooking and um i mean there's there's so much just ahead of us in in relation to both um the expanse but fantasy age and then your own personal projects um and then of course you know we love having you on thursday age you are one of our faves and um we we enjoy the conversation um and also so it's kind of nice to see what's cooking you know when you're when you're not um aging it so to speak <laughs> well, I'm doing a lot of the time these days. <laughs> okay, I feel like fast, I feel like I'm fast forwarding on that age button for sure. Um, hey, I want to thank the chat for hanging out and um, and great suggestions. You, you, I love it when we see our chat inspire the you know the guest to write something down because that's serious business. When a developer designer is writing something down on a pad, you've entered into their mind. You've planted a seed. Who knows what might grow from it? Um, yeah, yeah f phenomenal. Um, well, I think that we are at a good, as good a place of any to kind of call it um, for the day. Um, I want to thank everybody for hanging out again. Um, hey, be sure to uh, pay attention to our broadcast schedule because we've got all kinds of good stuff. We've got uh, Alex Thomas is starting a new series called Joy of GMing. And I don't know if everybody saw the beautiful artwork that I made in celebration of that, which is sort of Alex... Um, superimposed it's sort of a bob ross kind of thing but it's very different oh, that um, was fantastic yeah. <laughs> you, you did that <laughs> i did that was me that was me um I, I have some more art that i'm adding uh to that as well but uh, mondays you know mutants and masterminds monday every monday at the same time uh same actual place we just sort of swap out the skin suits and talk about superheroes and um and it's fun we have a lot of fun uh, you might even see a gravy squatch if you pay attention um that my friends is it thanks to everybody kind words in the chat we do appreciate it and we will we'll see you um soon hopefully this friends have a great rest of your week and we'll talk to you soon bye